So I'm a little nervous to show the before picture because it actually looks pretty cute. And every time that happens, I always get a bunch of comments that are like, better before. I'm sure today will be no different. So I found these old topography maps at the University of Minnesota's Reuse Center, and I thought they were really cool. But what does one do with old, slightly yellow, but not quite yellow enough topography maps? They put them on a dresser, obviously. So first, the maps got a bath in instant coffee. A 10 minute soak for each map, and then an hour out in the sun to dry, and the maps looked older than this expired fire extinguisher we keep at our cabin for no good reason. Then I decoupage them onto the drawer fronts of the dresser with Mod Podge. This sounds easy, but the maps were not in an accommodating mood that day. Instead of just smoothly sticking to the wood, they wrinkled up terribly, and then I had to painstakingly smooth out each map with a putty knife while being really careful not to rip it. Except I definitely ripped some, so I just covered up those parts with another map. Secret technique right there. Speaking of secret techniques, I share real ones on this channel all the time, like how I get access to expensive tools for free, which sounds like a scam, I know, but I promise this is legit, so go check out the video. While the drawer fronts dried, I worked on the rest of the dresser. One side, and one side only, was chipping off, so I took my trusty putty knife and I scraped away. I sanded a little as well, but I actually wish I had sanded a bit more since the bumps from the various paint levels are still visible on the final product which, you know, learning for next time. Finally though, I primed and painted, which went pretty much exactly how you'd expect, minus the fact that Benjamin Moore's Blackberry is a lot more bluish than I anticipated, which was kind of dumb on my part since, you know, it's called Blackberry. Either way though, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out, although I'm not sure I love it as much as I love my cedar chest makeover, which you should definitely go check out. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.